The weather on Earth varies a lot. On Earth, it can rain normally, as liquid water, or water can come from the sky in the form of ice or snowflakes. But have you ever wondered what rain looks like on other planets in the universe? Many planets have different atmospheres and therefore completely different weather conditions than our Earth. Here we look at other planets and what rain looks like outside our own atmosphere. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up and subscribe to Simply Space. Get ready for many more fascinating videos like this one. Mercury Mercury lacks its own atmosphere, resulting in tremendously volatile weather conditions on the planet. Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun. Therefore, it is not surprising that it can be enormously hot. However, without an atmosphere, the planet cannot store this enormous heat, which is why there are extreme temperature fluctuations between day and night. In addition to the lack of atmosphere, Mercury also has no axial tilt, which means there are no seasonal weather changes. Temperatures on Mercury reach up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. At night, temperatures can drop to around minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. For a human, the planet is simply deadly. We would evaporate or freeze if we left our spacecraft. Due to the lack of atmosphere, there is no wind, clouds, or rain. The surface is exposed to energetic molecules of solar wind, which can form so-called solar storms. Venus Venus may have a beautiful name, but really, it best proves what can be created from greenhouse gases. Venus has a very thick atmosphere and can thus capture and store more solar radiation. This keeps the temperature constant at about 900 degrees Fahrenheit. The difference from Mercury is that it rains on Venus. However, the rain that falls from the sky is not normal water. On Venus, it rains highly corrosive sulfuric acid, which would quickly eat through your clothes and cause serious burns. However, due to the high temperatures, the sulfuric acid evaporates before it can even reach the surface. Within Venus's atmosphere, there is also water. When the water hits the sulfuric acid, large explosions occur. But you can also find a type of snow on Venus, despite the extremely high temperatures. However, this is not normal snow, but remnants of metals that have evaporated in the atmosphere of Venus. For humans, this planet is likewise deadly. Saturn and Jupiter Believe it or not, diamonds rain on Saturn and Jupiter. This is because methane rain converts to carbon within the planet's atmosphere. These carbon particles clump together and form a kind of graphite. There is incredibly high pressure in the atmosphere, which compresses these graphite clumps even further and literally makes it rain diamonds. These diamonds are about one centimeter in diameter. The atmosphere of these two planets is mostly hydrogen the average temperature on Jupiter is about negative 162 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturn, on the other hand, has an average temperature of negative 218 degrees Fahrenheit. Titan Titan is Saturn's moon and shares similarities with the Earth. On Titan, there is wind, volcanoes, and also rain that falls on the surface. However, this is not normal rain, it's liquid methane. That said, the so-called methane rain occurs only every 1,000 years. Viewed through a telescope, Titan has beautiful lakes. However, the average temperature is about negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lakes are full of liquid methane that has collected over a long period of time. HD 189733b This planet is located over 60 light years from our Earth and has a beautiful blue color. This color is caused by molten glass that fell from the sky. The planet is very close to a sun, 
so the average temperature is about 1,768 degrees Fahrenheit. At such high temperatures, just about everything melts. What's more, the so-called glass rain can reach speeds of up to 7,000 kilometers per hour. Koro 7b Koro 7b is a rocky planet. On this planet, it rains large rocks from the sky. The atmosphere consists of the same components as a rock, including sodium, potassium, iron, and silicon monoxide. In the atmosphere, these elements then form smaller pebbles that can also grow into large boulders that then rain at high speeds to the surface. Uranus Uranus is the coldest planet with temperatures down to minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. At first glance, Uranus looks like a plain blue sphere. However, the calm appearance is deceptive. There are extreme weather conditions on Uranus, with strong winds and storms. On Uranus, it also rains diamonds, like on Saturn or Jupiter. Mars Mars is currently very popular in scientific circles. Many astronauts and researchers are studying the planet to see if there was life there in the past. On Mars, there was water for a while, which indicates that there must have been an atmosphere at one point. Currently, though, there is nothing on Mars but huge clouds of dust and sand. There is also only a very thin atmosphere on Mars, yet bizarre weather prevails on the planet. The poles of the planet are icy and there are strong snowstorms. However, this is not normal snow from frozen water, but snow from frozen carbon dioxide, which is also known as dry ice. Due to its thin atmosphere, Mars can only store the heat of the sun with difficulty. During the day, temperatures on Mars are about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. At night, however, temperatures drop to as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Mars is known for its huge dust storms. In the span of just a few days, these storms can cover the entire surface of the planet. Neptune Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system, which can reach up to 1,491 miles per hour. Since the surface of the planet is very flat, these winds and storms are not slowed by geographical features either. Neptune is a gas planet and produces diamond rain, just like Jupiter and Saturn. What are the types of rain on the planets? Glass crystals. There are planets in our solar system where it rains glass crystals. These are formed in the atmosphere of the planet and then fall to the surface. On the way, these glass crystals melt and liquefy. They are usually carbon molecules. Diamonds. Uranus, Jupiter, and Saturn actually have real diamonds raining down from their skies. The atmospheres of these planets have the ideal temperature and pressure conditions to form carbon in the form of diamonds. Sulfuric Acid Sulfuric acid falls from the sky, especially on Venus. Sulfuric acid is a compound of sulfur dioxide and lead and is highly corrosive. However, due to the high temperatures, not a drop falls to the surface, at least not in liquid form. Liquid Iron Rain There is a planet very close to its star, about 5,000 light years away, where a temperature more than 1,800 degrees is reached. It is rich in iron, which also reaches this temperature. It then melts and becomes iron vapor, which form clouds. This is how this type of rain occurs. That is, liquid iron rain. Methane rain. Titan and Earth are the only two planets where rain falls on the surface. The only difference with Titan from the Earth is that its rain is liquid methane. Water. Liquid water is not a common substance in the cosmos. Although its elements are abundant, rain as we know it on Earth is liquid only under very specific conditions. What can you learn from weather in space? Why bother with weather forecasts on other planets at all? The answer is that this kind of data can support or even improve life on Earth, especially in the face of climate change.
For example, weather on Mars could help scientists understand the vulnerabilities in the water cycle here on Earth. Research has shown that Mars once had surface water. Many scientists and astronauts even suspect that water was transported by the planet's giant dust storms. Collecting weather data for planets could aid the search for other habitable worlds or planets where life might be possible. Venus is also believed to have been habitable at one point. The current high levels of carbon dioxide are deadly to humans, but this finding could help scientists direct the search for Earth-like exoplanets to regions around stars not previously considered. As you've noticed, consistent weather depends on an atmosphere, the nature of the surface, and proximity to the sun. This is why we find so many different weather conditions and types of rain in our solar system. In our solar system, 